Nice to meet you again in our daily news, and here are the headlines for today. Vietnam and Cambodia enhance transport cooperation. U.S. enterprises meet with Ministry of Planning and Investment to examine Vietnam's business environment. Vietnamese pupils compete in International Mass Olympiad. Deputy Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phúc has said the close cooperation between the Vietnamese Ministry of Transport and the Cambodian Ministry of Public Works and Transport has made a positive contribution to the two countries' friendship. Receiving Cambodian Minister of Public Works and Transport Chan Yip Tech, Deputy Prime Minister Phuc proposed that the two ministries further enhance their cooperation in all fields, especially in developing transport infrastructure and connectivity between the two countries to facilitate trade and travel with the aim of boosting investment in both countries. Phuc affirmed the Vietnamese government will create favorable conditions for the two ministries to increase their cooperative relationship, making it broader ranging and more effective. Minister Chan Yip Tech informed his host of the results of his talks with Vietnamese Minister of Transport. Accordingly, the two ministers affirmed cooperation between Vietnam and Cambodia in the transport sector was consolidated and strengthened in all fields, including roadway, railway, waterway and airway, thus improving connectivity to improve trade, investment and services between the two neighboring countries. Minister Chao Yip Tech said his ministry will cooperate closely with the Vietnamese Ministries of Transport to implement joint cooperative agreements between them, especially those all linking Vietnam and Cambodia via road and railway. Foreign Minister Phạm Bình Minh has affirmed that his ministry will work closely with its Cuban counterpart to implement the agreements reached by the two countries' leaders to beef up bilateral ties. Foreign Minister Ming made the statement in Hanoi on July 9th at a meeting with Cuban Minister of Foreign Relations Bruno Rodriguez Parilla, who accompanies Cuban leader Raul Castro on an official friendship visit to Vietnam. The two foreign ministers agreed on measures to increase high-ranking delegations' visits and the exchange of delegations between the parties, states, national assemblies, ministries, departments and social political organizations of the two countries. They reached a consensus on holding an annual political consultation late this year in Havana. The two foreign ministers exchanged views on international and regional issues. They agreed that both countries should enhance coordination and mutual support at international forums in which both countries are members. Foreign Minister Ming took the occasion to thank the Cuban delegation for their active participation and contributions to the Vietnam Latin America Trade and Investment Forum hosted by the Vietnamese Foreign Ministry for the first time. On July 10, on the occasion of the visit to Vietnam by Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, a delegation of U.S. businesses met with the Ministry of Planning and Investment to examine Vietnam's investment and business environment. The delegation, comprising of 21 major groups and several leading U.S. businesses, including some who already operate in Vietnam, expressed their interest in investing in a number of fields, especially the oil and gas industry, information technology, and transportation. The delegation highlighted Vietnam's increasing role in the global value chain and said they hope Vietnam's participation in the Trans-Pacific Strategic Agreement on Economic Partnerships will create the right conditions for businesses from both countries to work together. While speaking at the meeting, Minister of Planning and Investment Bui Quang Vinh stated that Vietnam has encouraged U.S. businesses to invest as they have advantages of cutting-edge science and technologies, as well as large amounts of capital. The U.S. is now one of the largest investors in Vietnam, with a total investment of over 11.6 billion U.S. dollars. Bà Rịa Vũng Tàu is the province that comes second in attracting foreign direct investment, according to a survey carried out by the Central Institute for Economic Management. 
The total registered capital of the 282 FDI projects in the province is 27.5 billion U.S. dollars, 13 percent of all total investment registered in the country. Most of the project's capital focuses on the industrial and tourism sectors. The institute said currently the province does well in attracting FDI projects, but most only concentrate on sectors that require large amounts of capital and very few workers. In 2010. 50 percent of FDI projects declared a loss of capital, and only 33 percent of enterprises eventually made a profit. Most of the projects are in assembly and processing, with almost no transfer of technology involved. The institute suggested that Barrio Vuntao Province should set a maximum limit and avoid taking on heavy industrial projects. However, the province should not just rely on FDI projects, but work closer with the domestic private sector. And develop supporting industries. Petro Vietnam reported that it earned a pre-tax profit of 1.43 billion U.S. dollars in the first half of this year, an increase of 10 percent against last year. Revenues during the period reached 9.67 billion U.S. dollars, up 20 percent year on year, while its contribution to the state budget also rose 16.6 percent to 3.87 billion U.S. dollars. The group has basically completed its major targets set for this year and achieved high growth rates over the same period of last year. During January and June, oil sales reached 7.45 billion U.S. dollars, up 20 percent against last year. While oil and gas service revenues totaled 5.19 billion U.S. dollars. By the end of this year, Petro Vietnam estimates to earn a total pre-tax profit of 2.92 billion U.S. dollars and contribute 160 trillion Vietnam dongs, or 7.62 billion U.S. dollars, to the state budget. Currently, Petro Vietnam invests over 5 trillion Vietnam dongs, 238 million US dollars, in its non core businesses, finance, insurance, banking, and securities, and it plans to gradually withdraw from those sectors by 2015. The Ministry of Health and the United Nations Population Fund UNIPA, in Vietnam jointly organized a press conference on July 10 to mark the World Population Day, which falls on July 11. Addressing the event, Deputy Prime Minister of Health Nguyen Viet Tien affirmed that the party and state have issued many guidelines and policies to speed up the work on population and reproductive health. After 10 years of implementing the Vietnam Population Strategy and National Strategy on Reproductive Health for 2001 to 2010, significant achievements have been made, measurably contributing to socio-economic development. Mandeep K. O'Brien, UNFPA Acting Chief Representative, affirmed UN office, offices are always willing to assist Vietnam to build a positive policy environment promoting the approach of crucial services on sexual and reproductive health in all cities and provinces nationwide. With the theme, Universal Access to Reproductive Health Services, this year's World Population Day aims to strengthen commitments towards reproductive health for women. The day also acknowledges contributions of organisations and individuals in providing information and services for women to satisfy the Millennium Development Goals of achieving universal access to reproductive health by 2015. The 53rd International Mass Olympiads IMO got underway in Argentina on July 9 with over 500 competitors from 100 nations and territories, including six from Vietnam. The contestants were better out over two days from July 10th to 11th with the results being announced on July 15th. The Olympias is held annually for high school pupils under 20 years old to encourage an enthusiasm for mathematics in young students and to give them the opportunity to meet other young mathematicians and share the experiences of learning and teaching mathematics across the world. Many former winners of the Olympiad have gone on to become famous mathematicians, including Vietnamese professor Ngo Ba Chou, who won the Fields Prize.
Vietnam hosted the Olympia for the first time in 2007, attracting 523 candidates from 95 nations and territories across the world. And that's all we have for today. Goodbye for now and see you next time.